What is up everyone, my name is Hafo, or Michael, or whatever, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a new tutorial. I have not seen this one done before, well, on After Effects anyway, I've seen it done on Vegas, but never After Effects, and it's one I learnt earlier on, and it is when it just shows you the one colour, so you can you see like the red of the camo, and then all the other colours are black and white, and uh, I, was, I uploaded um, just a little, like a, uh, a preview of it earlier, and it got a really good response. Um, so here it is, and that's what we're going to be doing. It's got like the red camo, and everything else is black and white. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's get started. So here's on the clip, on the big long, um, the clip where I actually decided to do the demonstration. Yeah, I know I didn't hit anyone on the preview. Um, I just wanted to upload it because uh, I couldn't be bothered going into a game and recording a clip in the right place and this was a great place for it because it's a pretty it's a pretty non-red map I'm not gonna lie it's it's um obviously sand colors so it, it's a pretty good one because the the camouflage really stands out so what you do is you go to effect and then color correction and leave color and then with this little um color thing here we just click on that we're just going to select the colour of our camo, so ours is this red, so you just click on the red. And as you'll see, that doesn't do anything apart from change this little box to the red colour. So now we're going to change the amount to decolour to 100. And that looks really dodgy, as you can see, it just really looks weird. So then we change our match colours to using hue, like so. See, that looks okay, but we do have little places, you probably won't be able to see them. But, and basically, oh. Mm, Basically, what they've done is it, it's left. It's found little bits of red in the map. Um, well, we don't want that, obviously. So what we're going to do is, um, what we're going to do is we're going to click on tolerance and change mine to eight percent. I like that. I think that's a good number for this. Um, and you will obviously still see that it's, it leaves in um, some of these little uh, red bits on like the search and destroy the little bombs and stuff and you don't want that either well you, if you do want it you can have it but what I do is I just duplicate the layer um, get our little pen tool and just cut out where the gun is so leave it a bit of space so in case oh, leave it a bit of space at the top so then if, the, if you like reload or something your gun doesn't go off the edge and then in the one below so the one that doesn't have the mask we're just gonna um, turn our tolerance to zero and right, uh, no, it's a zero, yeah. And as you will see now, we have got rid of the other colours, like so. Like we got rid of the search and destroy bomb things. So then, when we just go to our and get our sniper out, right, that's where it fails a bit because I've masked it. But if you if you don't show that, then it'll be all right. So as you see, the sniper is the only thing on the map that has the red. And all I did to get the colours to appear, like, all of a sudden, was I just added a CC lens. So to this, so I found where the gunshot was. So let's just say it was here. Let me find it. Let's go frame by frame until the gun comes up for the shot. Should be any second now. Here it is. So you just have to literally find the gunshot. Right, so there. So then we just... What I did was... Duplicated this. Again. And got... Dragged that up to the frame there, as you can see. Then I just brought this layer to the top. Like so... I deleted the effect with the leave color on it, so it's like it should be in full color when it shows up. Yeah, it's in full color, so it'll look like it's just appeared at the moment um, from the black and white to the thing, and that's retarded. Um, where is it? Yeah, I need to just zoom in. But all you do is find where the gunshot is, as I said earlier which is there, 
And then we're just going to drag up our clip to match that. Which is there. Then, as I showed in the previous tutorial, we just got our CC lens. I'll link the previous tutorial in the, descri in the description if you want to have a look at that one. Um, we just changed that. Keyframe the center. No, sorry, the size. Um, move forward a few frames. To, like, there. There, that might do, yeah. Should do, and then just... Take the size up to 500. So then, when when he shoots now, uh, it goes from the black and white with just the red on it to the color with the like the bubble thing, the lens. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, it was really really easy, as you can see. Um, and yeah, that's about all I've got to say. I believe. Um, yeah, that should be about it. Uh, I'm oh yeah, I'm sorry about the, you know, I promised us the 3D text on the cinematics for those of you who've been following me for quite a while now. Uh, I promised that a while ago, and the only thing is, I'm just having a few issues with it. I haven't forgot about it. Uh, I'm gonna release it as soon as I can. I just um, yeah, I'm having a few issues at the moment with my buju, and. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'm sorry about the other tutorial, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy.